Hi, my name is Matsuri and welcome back to my channel where I review, rant and discuss about shows or movies that I've recently seen. And today's review is on Skitte Inayo or Say I Love You. So I don't usually watch a lot of shoujo, romance, animes. There's no actual like reason behind it. It's just that if I was given a choice, I'll either go for like, you know, the shonen style ones or horror or BL animes. And I don't actually remember how I got into this manga. I'm pretty sure I just bought those, you know, those monthly um, magazines that have like chapters of different artists while I was in Japan. And I remember loving the artwork and, you know, the story just I just got sucked into the story because it was so cute and so like sweet. It was just like a, you know, romantic like puppy love story. And I knew this movie was coming out and it was coming out on the year that I came back to Australia. So I never got to actually watch it. And then finally, you know, on Netflix, I saw it on Japanese Netflix. I saw it and I mean, it was all right, I guess. But yeah, for those who are thinking of seeing it or have not yet seen it, here is the rundown of the story. Mei Tachibana is a quiet girl that likes to keep to herself due to being accused by a best friend of something she didn't do when she was in elementary school. Now she lives her days not trusting anyone but herself. One day, Yamato Kurosawa, the school's most popular guy, was walking behind Mei when his friend decides to play a joke on her and tugs at her skirt. Getting annoyed by the harassment, she throws a kick behind her and kicks Yamato square in the face, causing him to scrape his hand. News spreads that Mei kicked the most popular guy and soon receives threats from his admirers. Feeling bad for what happened, Yamato goes to apologize and gives her his number and, t and tells her to call him whenever he's in trouble and he will come. A few days later, Mei finds herself being stalked by a guy that frequents her workplace and in a panic, she runs into the bookstore. Unable to reach her mum, she calls Yamato and asks for help and to her surprise, he comes to rescue her. From then on, Yamato starts inviting her to gatherings and introduces her to his friends, who at first has a hard time accepting Mei. But through her innocence and ability to objectively see things, she ends up helping them and their problems. She slowly gains trust of everyone, and slowly she starts opening up, and they see that Mei is not so boring and dark as they first thought. Eventually, Yamato confesses to Mei that he likes her, and that he wants to be with her. Mei does also feel the same, but will she ever say, I love you too? The answer is yes, obviously. Like, you know she's going to say I love you in the end. But anyway, like I said, I love this story, even though it is a typical like love story that you'll see anywhere. The reason why I like this one more than other ones is because it's really well thought out and that there's not a lot of miscommunications that you'll see in or like misunderstanding that you'll see in like other shoujo or like romance like stories and like that shit pisses me off because I'm like you know just just talk it out just just have a conversation with each other like you know it's not that hard <laughs> I mean if you guys talk it out and it doesn't work that just means that you guys weren't meant to be and that's it like I don't understand it whenever these kind of like problems or obstacles come about because I'm just like well in the next episode or in two episodes later you guys are going to get together again anyway so I'm just like <sighs> oh. but anyway <laughs> the reason why this one I mean this one kind of has it but not really and like for example so in one of the stories Yamato gets chosen to be go on a date with a model and usually in these kind of like love stories there's always that you know the girlfriend or the crush will like follow after them just to make sure that nothing happens and you know 
the ones on date accidentally like hug or accidentally kiss or something and that's why the girlfriend gets annoyed or angry and you know that kind of like situation is I feel like is a little bit stereotypical in most cases but in this one it's a little bit different because May being like really insecure about herself she gets mad because he knows like he sees them and he's like not just appearance wise but just in general she just doesn't feel like he fits with Yamato and that's kind of why she tries to kind of get away from him for a little bit but at the same time uh, but in the end he comes back being like no you know I love you for you and you know that gives her strength and the reason why I liked May as a character is because when while I was reading the story I found that she never like tries to become someone she's not like she tries to become better as a person like she's already a really good person she just doesn't like show it to everyone and as you know she starts to be as she starts to make friends and she starts to like open up a little bit more she starts to like understand that she is she can be a better person like he she just has to like release this like inner beauty I guess you can say and so with all the obstacles that happen throughout the story it's mostly her trying to overcome it with her own abilities and like her own strengths so I found reading it more in like I found it empowering to see like her trying to you know become a better person for herself so that she can you know be a match for Yamato so the movie I'll go with what I liked first so I like the guy that played Yamato, I like the guy that played Kai, and I like the girl that played Aiko. Because they were cast really well. I mean, I was a little bit surprised with the girl that played Aiko because from what I remember, she usually plays like a cutesy kind of girl, but in this one, Aiko is a very like stoic, like cool beauty kind of person, and she did play that pretty well. Um, so I was really surprised by her. I mean, I think they matched their character well and, you know, reading the manga and being like, oh yeah, if I was to put like actors to them, I thought they, you know, were what I would have imagined, I guess you can say. I also do like how they were able to like mash four to five stories of the manga into this movie and like was able to like combine it to make it a really cohesive cohesive story. Now on to my complaints. So I don't know if this is the fault of the actress because you know May is meant to be like a quiet and dark and like kind of gloomy character I guess you can say or if it's the fault of the direction of the director but I felt no connection between Mei and Yamato nothing like like separately you know Yamato you know Shoto Fukushi really good he's like you know he's a really good actor I think but when they're together it doesn't feel like they're in love they just feel like they're acting or you could say they're just friends and my other complaint is now i know japan is doing a lot better with their you know kiss scenes and their love scenes but like have a look at this and tell me what's the difference
what the heck was that? Like, when I first saw that, I had to stop, rewind it, and watch it again just to see what the hell the difference was. What, 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 what is the difference? Like, is, is that really how you would kiss someone you like? Seriously? And, like, I understand if they were very, like, nervous or, you know, embarrassed to do these scenes but if if you're not going to differentiate the first kiss to the last kiss maybe have the greeting kiss a kiss on the cheek or something more to the extreme because none of them made any difference for me except maybe the last one he held her in his hands i don't know it's just, it just i think seeing you know like passionate kissing in like American drama or like other dramas and then coming to this I'm just like that's just weak man so weak so my favorite character in the manga is definitely Mei like I explained before because of her empowerment but because I'm going out by the the live action movie my actual my favorite character in the movie was actually Kai because like he was put in the movie to become like the love triangle with her her Yamato and him and you know he did a really good job at I mean <laughs> the actor the actor did a really good job of portraying this guy who you know was bullied the same as um, May but unlike May he actually decided to do something about it first but in the wrong way, like he decided to train hard so that he can beat up his bully. But then when he does come to face to face with his bully, he just he just ends up not doing it because he doesn't see the point of becoming, you know, who he dislikes, if that makes sense. I mean, you know, most of it has to do with May, you know, beating the same boat and, you know, her giving her him advice and whatnot. And that's why he was able to overcome it. But I think, you know, seeing his character growth in that short amount of, like, scenes that he was in, he was really good at conveying that message of, you know, character growth. Now, should you watch this movie? Um, if you're looking for a teen love story with a really good story but a really bad actress, sure. Like, yeah, I mean, like I said, the story, I love the story. It's really good. So I would say give it a watch if you can be, if you can get past the bad acting at times. Um, I know there is an anime version, but I haven't actually seen it anywhere so that I can watch it. So once I can, I will give that a watch because I know that the lead, uh, the voice that does Yamato is... Sakurai Toshiko and I love his voice as well so I want to give that a watch but yes and there is also a really random like One Direction song at the end as well which kind of was really was really bizarre because I was like I wasn't expecting it to have a like English back uh, English ending song so it kind of threw me off but I guess it was popular at the time 2014 mm. But yes, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a comment. Have you seen it before? If you have seen the anime version, can you let me know where you've seen it so I can try and find it? Because <laughs> I do really want to watch it. <laughs> but yes, give me a like if you can. Subscribe for more reviews and rants coming soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!